everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to show you what we have bought bill for christmas now bill is five years old and these are all of his suggestions and hints that he's given to father christmas and we have dutifully listened so if you want to get a little bit of inspiration or you're just curious then keep watching So I feel the need to say like I did at the start of Daisy's video that like this is not a boastful video in any way shape or form. I was asked to do this video by quite a few people and I just want to do it to be helpful. Um, we sold a lot of things on eBay in the run up to Christmas to save up money to buy our kids presents and as well as all of these presents from under the tree we are also doing our stocking which is like full of little toys and things like that so if you would like to see what we've got in terms of stocking fillers then those videos will be going up in December as part of Vlogmas so right at the start of December so you'll have plenty of time for inspiration if you still need it but I'm going to crack on and show you what we've got Bill. So I'm going to start with his main present which is this and this is the Hot Wheels Stunt Bridge kit and it's a track builder system with over 70 pieces and he's getting really into stuff like this he's really into crafts as well and he's like into Lego and stuff so anything that you can build is always like a plus for a five-year-old I think but as a lot of family members have gone down the Lego route we have gone down Hot Wheels instead now we shopped around and I think that Mark bought this from Bargain Max it might have been but it's always worth like doing a bit of price comparing online before you buy anything like we did and he's just gonna love it it shoots cars into the air and they go over this like dodgy bridge track and it's just something that he is gonna love it's probably gonna be something that is gonna drive us mad and there's gonna be bits everywhere but that's what Christmas is about isn't it then one thing I forgot to mention is that we actually got some Hot Wheels to go with his Hot Wheels set as well so he's got a few extras there and this is the Surf's Up set so it's like Surf and Beach Patrol and things like that and it was just a cute little set just to go with it so he's got a few extra cars to play with then next up is this and this is the Hexbug Nano V2 and this is the gravity defying robotic creatures and it's the Hurricane Ultimate Free Fall set and Hexbugs if you didn't already know are these little tiny robo bugs that you put a battery inside and they basically vibrate and move around everywhere he already has a few sets of these already and when he saw this advert on the television he went crazy for it so we obviously had to buy it and they are really really good fun they're suitable for three plus so it's definitely worth having a look because you build the tracks and you can add and like do extensions to them and they're just really really good fun and mark loves playing it with bill as well so it's a win-win so we've got him this set and then we've also got a um, nano version 2 hex bug as well to go with it so he's got two because one comes in the set and then we thought we'd get an extra one as well and then the next thing that he asked for is this and this is the quicksils 3d and this is basically cubes that join together with water and it makes 3d figures and he's getting into that kind of crafty element now when it comes to like things that he likes to play with and it's a really nice age actually five because you feel like you can trust them to play with things properly a little bit more and it makes it a lot easier to buy for so this is really fun and there's no heat or glue or mess involved it's just water that you need so you can make like a puppy or a parrot or a sheep and things like that and he was really excited when he saw the advert for this so i know he's gonna absolutely love it now if you saw daisy's christmas present video you'll have noticed that my kids like PJ Masks a lot and one thing that Bill has requested this year is that Father Christmas bring him a gecko outfit and Daisy's char favourite character is also gecko so I have a feeling there might be a few scraps over this but she's too little for us to buy her one really and yeah we got this and it's for five to six years so it's perfect fit for him and i just i think he's gonna love it i can imagine them both on christmas day like dressed up as like geckos and fairies and goodness knows what else so we just thought this would be a really fun one to include now the next few things that we've got for bill are actually games and he has got sort of more presents i guess but the same amount of money spent on him as daisy because daisy's presents were like bigger and slightly more expensive but we got him a few things because I think at the age that he's at it's about the quantity sometimes they like to see loads of presents under the tree and they like to open them all so games is a really good way to go down because they keep them busy it gives them things to do and it gives you stuff to do over the Christmas period when all the partying is finished as well so the first thing that we got is this and Mark actually chose this because he remembered having a like 
magician set when he was little and it's the gee whiz magical box of tricks for kids and it's for five and up so it's one that will grow with him he's obviously on the younger side of the age range now but there are loads of things in here from like a magic wand and magic glasses and spinners and coin tricks and it's one that you know he can go up to his bedroom and he can work on his tricks and then come and do a show for us which is right up his street and it was really inexpensive as well so he's definitely worth going to toys r us and checking out the game section because we got loads of inspiration there that we wouldn't have had if we just like browsed online if that makes sense so I'm really excited to see what he thinks of this one then this next one is actually one that I picked up from Amazon and this is the science of slime now my kid loves slime and my kid loves science and working out how to do things and you basically make yucky slime and fun coloured worms and it's a brain activated toy and has eight different experiments so I thought it'd be really good because he can learn things as well as have fun and it's going to be all yucky and gross which you know kids absolutely love. So it's got a set of like things that you need like protective goggles and the mixture and gloves and things like that and I just think he's going to absolutely love this. So the next gift that we got is the bunny jump game and this is for five plus and it's got it's up to two to four players and he's seen this on the telly and um, I think the song is like bunny bunny rabbit jump 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 that one so he he loves that and he recognizes that little nursery rhyme so we bought in this because it's just a fun one to play like we're really big on playing games as a family because it's just a nice way to sort of like learn and spend time together and I think he's really going to like this one because the rabbit pops up when you steal his carrots so yeah it's a bit like buckaroo but just bonafide and then the final game that we got him is Screwball Scramble and this is for five plus again and one to four players and well if you are an 80s 90s kid like I was I'm 29 and this was like a highlight of my childhood it was my favorite game and it was Mark's favorite game as well so we saw it and we thought you know what this is a brilliant one to buy for now and then it will last him right through until like he's our age basically it might be one of those ones that we pull out for our grandchildren you never know but we just had to buy it when we saw it and I think it's it's going to be a really fun one to play over Christmas. And then finally, the last two things that we have got him are books. So we have The Detective Dog, which is by Julia Donaldson. I'm um, a big fan of her because she's the author of The Gruffalo. And we also have Ten Little Elves. And these are more on the baby side for Bill, but I feel like picture books is a nice one to go like for over Christmas because they're nice and they will last for Daisy. And this baby boy in my tummy as well. So we pick those up just as an extra because I always believe in getting something a bit like educational and I used to love getting books as a kid so picked him up two books as well. Now obviously it's like the middle of November when I'm filming this so there might be opportunity for me to pick up a few more bits along the way but I am really really happy with what I've got for both kids and like I mentioned earlier we also have the stockings as well so there's loads of little toys that are going to go in there as a few extras um, because I prefer to buy like tiny toys or things that are like proper and nice rather than like just silly little stocking fillers because I feel like they end up in the bin pretty quickly so that's the way we like to do it and I can definitely recommend it because we don't wrap those either we just stick them in there and it's a lot less work so yeah I hope you enjoyed that video and it gave you a little bit of inspiration and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the stocking filler videos and all the vlogmas coming up too but yeah have a lovely day whatever you're up to and I'll see you next time bye